Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to welcome you today as we take you on a musical journey of Southern Germany. It is a region filled with unique towns and cities, splendid castles, half-timbered houses in market squares, and churches ranging from Romanesque to Rococo. Today our program takes us on a musical journey to famous monasteries, churches, and abbeys of this beautiful region. Thank you for joining us. One of the most unique towns on the north shore of Lake Constance is Lindau, an historical town with bays and winding lanes, ancient noble houses, castles, beautiful flowers and vistas, and the stately church of St. Stephen's. It is my special pleasure to welcome as my guest at St. Stephen's Church in Lindau, Anne Martindale Williams, principal cellist of the Pittsburgh Symphony and one of the outstanding cellists in the world today.
Not far from Lindau on Lake Constance is the quaint town of Mearsburg. One of the most picturesque towns on Lake Constance is Mearsburg, a romantic fairy tale village with half timbered houses, cobblestone streets, old historic castles, all covered with bright colorful flowers. Mearsburg is actually a town with two faces. The upper town is built around the old castle and the lower town on the lake. A stroll from the upper town to the lower will take you by the castle grounds, vineyards, bustling shops and restaurants, all brimming with flowers. Our musical journey of southern Germany continues from Mearsburg and Lake Constance to the magnificent Abbey of Weingarten. Right off the main highway from Friedrichshofen to Ulm in southern Germany, we find the awesome Abbey of Weingarten. The Abbey Church was built between 1715 and 1724. The building has a convex facade, two spires, and a dome all rising high over the town on a hillside. Pilgrims have been coming here for a thousand years to venerate the relic, a vial of earth believed to have been soaked with Christ's blood.
One of the crowning glories of the Weingarten Abbey is the gobbler organ built in the mid-1700s by the deeply religious Joseph Gobbler. The organ is found high above the end of the giant nave. The richness of sound of the organ is only equaled by the ornamentation and casework. No other organ has such rich details. The keyboards, stop knobs, the console itself, and of course the casework of the organ, which is artistically displayed. So the windows show through the facade and pipework. The organ has 64 speaking stops and five divisions. Some other very interesting aspects of the organ are the character stops. For instance, unusual for a classical organ is a carillon, a rossignol or a bird stop, and a cuckoo stop. From Weingarten, we travel on north to the small village of Ochsenhausen, where in the rolling countryside we find another monument of faith, the Ochsenhausen Monastery. This pristine monastery, as in Weingarten, houses a gobbler organ, one of the great organs of southern Germany.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for being with us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a musical journey of Southern Germany. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.